Good morning, Councilman Grove. Good morning, Councilman Salters. And good morning, morning Vincent. Vincent. We're off. Woo! Uh, we are way off, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, tad muggy. It is. Summer's yes. here, baby. Summer's Summer here. Summer is here, and uh, summer was here over the weekend. I, <laughs> I like that 100 plus heat index. Yeah. Thank you, Summer. Love it. Thank you, Summer. My, I, wife, I, my wife truly loves it. I, and it's all I can do to look at her and say, Nuts. I don't mind it, like, <laughs> and if anybody knows, I've got I've got poor circulation, so like these things don't really face me that much. But like after I've been out in it all day, like you get inside, and you're like, wow, I'm tired. Yeah, uh, I but, used to enjoy it, but now it's not. Like, <laughs> oh, this is not going to be a fun. Uh, day. There's a lot of great things happening in the city of Vincennes. First, I want to give a huge shout out to Team Yoakum, uh, heap of jeeps. I don't even know what I mean. It's yeah. just amazing what they do. Yeah, it really is. And you know, everybody loves a Jeep. And, yeah, you know, that's one of the most I've popular vehicles out there right now. And and uh, they've really capitalized off of the getting everybody together, true community event. Yeah, it's mean, really and, nice to see. And you're right. You hit on the point that it's a true community event. When you think about it being a true community event, we're talking about they've set up this event to become just a huge fundraiser for first responders and. I, I can't thank them enough. I know you can't either yeah. because they're looking out for our community and doing these things. And this thing has just continued to grow and grow and grow and grow where it was a one day thing and now it's a two day event with food trucks, music, Bands, a huge and, yeah. ride, gifts that are, you know, that are given out. And it's just a gigantic thing. I can't thank them enough for their community minded spirit. And it's things like that. No matter what the scale, obviously this is a very big scale thing, but you see this all throughout our community where it's at the small, medium, or large scale that people are thinking outside the box and how can I make my community better? And that's what makes us special in the city of Vincennes. Yeah. So I can't thank them enough. Great success this weekend and just hats off and everybody's looking forward to next year's event. Yep, definitely. All right, so that brings us to our big thing. I know we're going to make this push for quality of life stuff. Yes. Uh, Councilman Grove and I have been working hard on some things behind the scenes, but we need to hear from you. Uh, what do you want to see here in the city of Vincennes? We're in the process of kind of changing some funds around to be able to spend some money on some things that are specifically quality of life focused. So we want to know basically every demographic, like from the young, the middle aged, the old, to those that are extremely active, to those that aren't active, to those that want to have stuff for pets, stuff for kids, stuff just to go out and do on your own. And these are the things that we're looking for. Yeah. I know there's one on your list that you're definitely looking at. Yeah, I, I've got a couple on my list, but uh, what we really need, you hit, you hit it on the head there, uh, what you guys want to see. You know, if, if, if you're saying you want something for kids, what is it that you want for kids? What, what would you like to see for them to be able to do or us to get to be active? Um, or if you're a walker, where do you need improvements? Or if you got dogs, cats, yeah. whatever, uh, whatever we can do to make quality of life better. And the thing that you have to remember is, too, I feel like we've got a good pulse, but we always need more information from you. Yes. And that helps us make better decisions moving forward. It can be something as simple as, you know what, Councilman Salters, I'd like to see more trash cans at the park. I go, that's, that's a simple thing to be able to do. I want to see more benches in certain areas so people can sit. Or something bigger, like... Let's get electricity throughout the Riverwalk. Yeah. You, know, you like that one? I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these are the things that we're looking at, and it can be absolutely anything, and no idea is a bad idea here. Now, this yep. doesn't mean that we're going to be able to do it, or we're going to be able to do it now, but no. we need to be able to have that list there so we have things to shoot for. Yep. And that's going to be our push over the next couple of years. How are we going to be able to expand quality of life options here in the city of Vincennes? <coughs> A piece of dust in my <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're excited about that we're really going to push forward to that and speaking of quality of life things we got food trucks coming up on monday we do um man food huh? truck food review all right i mean yeah. what did you have last week so, i know I, I, it, we were walking up and down it was so crazy last <laughs> week and we were we were short a couple of trucks so i was thinking you know, it's, it always goes by how many trucks you got listed, how yeah. big the crowd is. Uh, man, was it wrong last week. There was a ton of people down there. And I, I get down at the meeting, we get down there, and uh, immediately get in line because I didn't eat last week. Yeah. I know, everybody was I, I can't go that long. No, without, you can't. Yeah. I mean, a couple of Mondays like that, and something's going to happen. 
I get in line for Whitaker Beef, which is this one, seems of my, like, one of my favorites. <laughs> this seems right. to be your go-to. Yeah. Um, but they had a, ha- a um, not a hamburger, but a uh, meatloaf sandwich. Okay, and here's the thing. Oh. The weird thing is, I come in and there's two of our firefighters who tell me, you got to get the meatloaf sandwich. I go and find Councilman Grove. He is in line for the meatloaf sandwich. Yes. So please divulge yeah. the meatloaf sandwich. And he sandwich. wants to pull me out of line to do a video. <laughs> I'm, I'm feet away from a from a meatloaf sandwich, and he wants to do a video. So luckily, my my wife was willing to take a take one for the team and uh, stay in line and, and get my food ordered. It was delicious. Meatloaf, cheese, barbecue sauce. Now, was it the meatloaf that just crumbles? Uh, it's got a little crispy edge around it. Uh, just perfectly done. You can tell it's it was. Do you put a lot of ketchup on your meatloaf? I don't. I, I don't do. I don't cook. Oh, okay. Tanya, I'm sure does, but it's it's you know it gets that crusty. Yeah, so that doesn't sound very good, but it it's like no, like I mean nice you like a good cri- crust, crispy, like a crispy crust, crispy on crust on the top, and it, it was delicious. I've yet to have something bad down there yet. I'm sure it's down there. I, I'm not saying they're perfect, but we have a great group of trucks that is putting out some really good food down there. Yeah, I mean, it, and like I said, I know that we're probably homers for food trucks. Obviously, yeah. the ordinance, you know, started with us, and we moved through there, and you do the Food Truck Association. But, like, it, it, to me, it's so much more than just food trucks. It's just people going out there and enjoying being with the community. And yeah. I mean, the live music, the feel, those are the things. I, I think it's a good kind of template for what you can do in the community when you have events that are community-minded. Yeah, it, it's really, I, yeah, I just am amazed every time I walk down there and, and there's you know, a thousand people down there, the band's playing. Uh, all the time I see, I, even, and what really gets me is I see restaurant owners down there eating. Yeah. Whenever you see a restaurant owner eating somewhere, you know it's probably pretty good. So um, lots of compliments. I can't say enough about the guys down there that are coming out every Monday. The band, just one more, Guys and Rosie and Jared and Luke. And I think uh, there's going to be a new one added to that that mix. So we're always trying to grow yeah. and, um, you know, see what we can do. Yeah. So that leads us into this coming week, Thursday. We've got a big meeting where we're going to continue our Walkable uh, City series meetings. Really important series. Really important I, series that we're doing. Yeah. I, I read a police report over some uh, uh, bicyclists, pedestrians getting hit and, uh, you know, we, we really need to do all we can to make it safe for people to get out and walk, and, and I, this is a great series. And, and the thing is, too, we had a really good first meeting with a lot of feedback, and, and the key thing in this meeting is we're going to hit some of the updates and information we were able to collect from the first one, some of the things that we were able to do immediately, and now the steps moving forward yeah. to be able to improve those. Obviously, the first focus was crosswalks, but now we're going to start branching out on specifically connectivity of our areas, shade. Uh, letting people know where those things and an in- informational campaign to let people remember and remind them, hey, here's some of the rules for walkers and runners and yeah. people that are just out and enjoying those things. So we've got a lot to cover, but we're we're very positive. We've got a good group of people that are very excited about this. And the thing is, well, the more people you get involved, the easier it is to get that word out and get that message out. So What I really liked about the first meeting, there was a yeah. lot of, of public input. Um, and man, it makes a meeting so much uh, more doable when you got a lot of public input. And I know that some will reach out and be like, why are you focusing on walkable cities when there's a lot of other things going on? And the key thing that I get is when you have a community that's active and you have a community that's out, that entices other people to go out and enjoy those things. And we have a lot of things to enjoy, but also entices people that are wanting to invest in the city and want sure. to come to the city. And those things are very correlated. Yeah, and something we can address quickly. And Yes. And- uh, get a lot of information out there. Our PR guy has, has done a great job of getting that done. <laughs> <laughs> so we invite you to come. That's Thursday at 6 at City Hall. Uh, if you can't, we'll obviously post all the information on there afterwards. But it's a really good series. And we're excited about that. Other than that, there is something almost every day. It's going to be hot. I would encourage go to Rainbow Beach. Fantastic. Splash get pads. Splash pads open. Another great place to go. Um, I'm usually terrified of the cold water at the splash pad. I, it, it doesn't look like it. it looks but like you're kind of enjoying it. With it being this hot, whoo, it feels good. <laughs> it feels good. So go out there, enjoy the city of incense, and we will see you next Monday. See you next Monday.